evening, everybody. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and welcome to the State Palace Theater, great venue here in New Orleans, for our main event. Everybody's been waiting for these two to meet up. Now they do, as round one is underway. Good flush shot upstairs. When a high stamina fighter is fighting another guy who's very well conditioned, is there any tendency for maybe some doubts to creep into his mind? Yeah, there always are. Because you always want to have the edge. We're human beings. Boxers are no different. They want to say they have a little edge in that area. But they need to know that this is exactly what they're ready to do. Good defensive skill with the block by Tommy Hearns. He takes a shot and then commits to giving one right back. And a good solid one-two combo by Tommy Hearns. Here's one for you now, he says, right back with the left hand. Move those feet. A sound combination by Miguel Cotto. That's it. That is a big right hand after eating one himself. Way through this round. Good clean shot returning fire. Well done by Miguel Cotto. Hearns' defense is now serving him well. Nice job blocking that punch. Accurate jab brings the right hand. Takes one but gives one. Good work by Miguel Cotto. Cotto's making for a tough target there. He gets away from that punch. Teddy, what do you think of Kodo tonight? Well, about the same as I would think if I'm going to go into a barber shop. I mean, I know what to expect. I'm going to get my hair cut. Well, you're fighting Kodo, you're going to get your body hit. How about a return to sender with the left hand? Red hot action to open up this fight. Both men throwing, both men landing. It's been a long time since I've seen something like this. I think it was in a film library. Watchman hammering Hank. The great Henry Armstrong never took a step backwards, kept going forwards. Tommy Hearns is way off the mark. That punch didn't have a chance. What an excellent two-punch combo by Miguel Cotto. Ten clicks of the talk. That worked out really well. Throwing off the right hand after getting tagged like that. This round comes to an end here. Joe Tessitore sitting ringside as always with Teddy Atlas. Love coming to this fight venue. We always have a great time when we come to town with the exception of having to pay the bill for our entire crew on the night before when they take us out to a steak dinner. Yeah, you know, they remind me of fighters a little bit. You know, the fighters that we see that have very, yeah, every once in a while, very short arms. <laughs> you know? They these, do. <laughs> they, these guys were They don't real. have the reach. No, they, they don't. can't reach for the wallet. No, they don't. And I tell you, they would be great on the inside. Really great. I wish I could put them on the inside in the kitchen where I didn't have to take care of them at the table. But great guys. Protecting his head well with his guard. Oh, you see him with the left of the head there? He got hit, but he sends it right back. Miguel Cotto's movement's really helping him out, avoiding that punch. Side to side. Well-placed, well-timed combo up top. Good job staying away from the danger there. Puts forth the hook, scores with it. What's the hook? Miguel Cotto's putting together punch stats tonight that fall right in line with what his strategy is. Outside fighter, throwing lots of jabs, landing lots of jabs. Well, what it is is the jab is the table setter. 
And the jab tonight has set up the table where he's been able to eat whatever he's wanted. For many, many years with Miguel Cotto, we've heard, oh, he's the next Trinidad. That pressure of trying to carry that Puerto Rican flag into the new age. Some pressure there? Yeah, there is pressure there. Good pressure, though, because just like Trinidad, I think that he hooks himself, couples himself up with it, with the pride of the Puerto Rican people. That when he goes in that ring, he doesn't go in there alone. Another flush shot to the head. <laughs> Tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Don't let him get to you, kid. And he's holding. Oh, that's good stuff. Fire it right back with one of his own. Good work by Miguel Cotto. the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. Burns is showing that he's got some defense of his own. He got away from that punch. There's that overhand right. Cotto's corner's got to be thrilled with what they just saw. They won that last round. They put down a beat down on their opponent. And now they got to be thinking, hey, this thing could really snowball in our favor big time when we get off the stool here. Yeah, they have to feel that way. Keep it going. Why change it now? You know, what you did the last round, it worked for you. It got you into a commanding position. Keep doing it. Keep doing more of it. But remember your defensive responsibilities as you go forward. They both decide to bring it. Miguel Cotto's being so very effective, punching in combination. Now that's what you want. He's got pretty good hand speed. Might as well use that hand speed. No better way to use it than putting them together. Tommy Hearns has got to deal with a cut on his cheek. Miguel Cotto's hit by a right hand. He doesn't look good, but yet he's throwing rather than clinching. Miguel Cotto's landing a combination here. That's what he does when he's at his very best. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Miguel Cotto. You're doing great. Nice wrist one-two combination by Miguel Cotto. Good exchange. He fires back. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. And now they're trading blows. Good combination to the head. Wow! He gets floored with one single shot. He was just torn down like an old building. This fight is over. Sometimes that's all it takes. Just one good punch to end the evening. Tommy Hearns is the knockout victim here tonight. One good punch and one mistake at the wrong time. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. That does it ringside. We'll see you soon.